people go to a Broadway show and you look up and see all, all the lights and you don't think that somebody has to make them, we do. Fred Foster is the CEO of Electronic Theater Controls in Middleton, Wisconsin Entrepreneur of the Year in 2013, and chosen as one of the 10 most powerful people in the entertainment technology industry. So we have about 700 people who work in Dane County, and it's the center of our product development. From the world's tallest building in Dubai, to Main Street Disney in Orlando, to the lights on Broadway in New York City. It's a Wisconsin company that's lighting the way. The flags represent the companies where we have operations, um, with the exception of the Wisconsin flag. That went up when Bucky Badger came to visit one day. And to think all of this is the brainchild of a University of Wisconsin dropout, born from the curiosity of college kids. There was an early computerized lighting board at the University of Wisconsin at Vilas Hall, and my brother, two years older than I am, was studying physics, and I showed him this big machine that cost a fortune in 1973. The cost for that one piece of equipment? $150,000. His direct quote was, GAC, this is disgusting, we can do it for $5,000. We built our first production light boards in the, my brother's bedroom at my parents' house. Then we moved into our first garage in about 1979. Just like Walt Disney, Harley Davidson, and Bill Gates at Microsoft, they all started their companies in a garage. I think we were one of Bill Gates' first customers. We bought a development software package from them, and I think we called for technical support and likely talked to him on the phone. ETC went on to create the first computerized lighting console. It was right after the microprocessor had come out into the market. That was a big step. A revolutionary step, but the early years were not easy for Fred and his brother Bill. There, there have been many times when we've been challenged. Um, during that time when we couldn't make payroll, it's not wrong to be too stupid to quit. But Fred did quit college. That's not to say he doesn't value his time at the UW. I had a tremendous respect for the university. I regret not being patient enough to take advantage of school. And so looking back, I suppose I do regret it, but I can't imagine that I ever would have been able to finish it. But what he did learn at UW-Madison is immeasurable. And if there was a degree in passion, Fred Foster would have earned it. Have I not heard great ornaments in the field? I think my favorite theater is the Memorial Union Theater, the large proscenium house. And not only that, but when I was a student, I learned my stagecraft. So there was a really strong emotional tie, the number of all-nighters I worked there. And years later, work would bring Fred back to the Union Theater again and again. Like so many great theaters, ETC lighting hangs from the rafters. When the Memorial Union underwent recent renovations, Fred forged a new partnership with the university. In the play circle, we said that we would donate an entire lighting and stage machinery package on the grounds that we could put in anything we wanted. In essence, creating a theater lighting lab for students to learn their stagecraft, just like Fred had done years before. And every night, there's a light show outside of ETC's Seven Acre headquarters. The color array isn't just for looks. These lights are being tested. The mood lighting continues when you step inside. Now we're entering um, Town Square. A space inspired by the famous Edward Hopper painting called Nighthawk. The lobby resembles a 1940s stage backdrop. So across the way is the Acme office machinery, which actually houses our computer help desk. The Richard Kelly Insurance Company over here is our human resources help desk. He was our insurance agent and when we were a joke in a garage. Fred Foster has come a long way from those early days in a garage. We have grown from garage to garage, and arguably we are still in a garage. It's just a whole, well, they're just bigger garages. 
I don't think any of us ever saw ETC turning into what it has become. You don't have to look any farther than Fred's office door to see he's never forgotten where he started. It's been a great ride and I don't think we're done with it.